today in the cut some gadgets that could really change the way you do so many things from learning more specific calorie counts to makeup that withstands a workout. I, I, I can't wait to hear about that. Plus, um, be more assertive this new year with this app that eliminates some of your crutch words. These stories making the cut this morning with Eden Kendall from 99.9 .9 Gator Country and River City Live. Okay, I'm going to let you get to this. Happy, Happy New, New year. year. It's so nice to have you back. Well, thank you. Uh, very quickly, though, on the dogs. You yes. know, we have always just created brought, um, names for what breed our dog is because they're usually rescue dogs from uh -huh. the pound. So right now we have a rot lab hound. You so, you know, it, there's an art form to yeah. it. You just have to figure <laughs> out. Before that, we had a waggy-tailed wet tongue terrier. So you just create it. It goes. You know, you just make it happen. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you about some gadgets since we're in that gadget mode, mm -hmm. okay? So this is called the Sayo, and it's a brand-new gadget that actually will count the calories and the nutrition in the food that you're eating. Now, you might be thinking, well, I thought there was already yeah. something that scanned food. No, that scanned label. This actually scans your food. Scans your food. And there's an app for that. Now, it's not just the folks in the gym that are interested in this. It's actually the, uh, you know, food allergy folks mm -hmm. and people who are diabetic that can find a lot of value in something like this to find out how many carbs and sugars are in things and fats and... Does it, is it just mainly like the, the whole... Uh, like, like the Whole Foods, I mean, like I'm looking at, you know, organic stuff there, because mm -hmm. clearly a lasagna, they don't know how much cheese yeah, you like put in. Well, that's you know? interesting, and I don't know for sure, but I know that what it's reading is molecules, mm -hmm. so it is possible that it breaks apart all of the different ingredients in the food, yeah. and then it reads each, like, for example, lasagna, it would read the molecules in the pasta, and the mm -hmm. molecules in the tomato sauce, the mo I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. However, if it's a packaged food, you can probably just read the ingredients on the side. So but still, that's yeah, but amazing. It is, it's, it's and I bet they're at the cool. consumer electronics it show. Is. I bet it's, they are. It's very, very cool. <laughs> it's very, very cool. So, um, okay, so um, the next thing I was going yeah. to share with you escapes me. I mean, I oh, am at the, a total the makeup. Like, the, the makeup. makeup. Oh, no. oh, we, we haven't forgotten that. Okay, so tell okay. me about this makeup that I can sweat. I was just trying sweat. to remember what I was about to tell you next, and this is happening more and more <laughs> lately. <laughs> uh, okay, so this um, Birch Box. Are you familiar oh, yeah. with Birch Box? Uh, yep. This is, for those who aren't familiar with these monthly um, subscription type things, they send you every month a different box of samples. Mm -hmm. Well, this particular bir birch box is for those who are um, wanting to wear makeup to the gym. So everything is going to be waterproof and it's going to be kind of neutral and light. So you see that's kind of like a very neutral lip color they've got there. And they are suggesting that you will feel better and do better in your workout if you have a full face of makeup on. I'm not so sure about that because I feel like if you walk into the gym with that full face of makeup, you might just get yourself judged yeah, by the bit, other people you know, at the gym. I mean, yeah. I, mm -hmm. But, you know, I do think there's a balance and that might be a balance if it's light. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you can't go in there looking just You don't want to look all, all the scary. Way yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, the trick, and that's what this addresses, the trick is to look like you're not wearing the makeup. Look like you're not wearing yeah. makeup. So, it's, so this final final part, I'm just proud that I remembered it. Uh, it's a Google, <laughs> it's a Google extension, which means it's something you can add on if you're using Google Chrome and Gmail, and it will read and police your emails to take out words that make you sound less assertive. I'm sorry. I'm no expert. Oh, Does wow. that make sense? It's underlining things that make you sound. Like you aren't coming from a position of authority. Mm -hmm. it, the app or extension is called Just Not Sorry. Mm -hmm. And it, they say it's designed for women because women. Uh, uh, I do the, the one, sorry thing all yeah, the time. Yeah. Women, Amy Schumer has a very funny skit she does on a regular basis where she apologizes for everything. She bumps into somebody and hurts them. I'm sorry. And they say that women just have a propensity to apologize for things or use verbiage that makes them sound like they're not as sure as they could be. So that's what this is for. It's going to pull it out and at least make you think twice before you send that email. I think I need that. I like that. And then it'll probably make you think about saying it too. So I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It couldn't hurt. And sorry, I think it's not sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so there well, you go. We are sorry that the segment is over because we love having you. Oh, so. thank you. Well, then tune in at 11 oh, for River will. City Live yes. because I'm shaving my face today. On the what? Show. Well, well, I already just... noticed that your eyelashes look amazing. So I know this when I've heard you talking about the eyelashes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. so I can't wait to see that segment yeah. too. We always, you know, we always try to teach you at least one thing. I know we, and you do. You always do. <laughs>